It's time for the news! Hi everybody, welcome to BrickVault, my name is Mike and welcome to another weekly news update. This is part of the news on the table, the Ninjago Movie Wave 2 sets are available, you can go to LEGO store and get them right now. Also, congratulations to Sula and Dakota, uh, the winners of our gift cards giveaways, the Target and Fandango one. Those gift cards should be on your way to you right now. The next giveaway we should announce hopefully next week, we're gonna get more news once we get closer to that. Uh, more things happened, the Downtown Diner, the creators that was announced, so Jack did a video on that one, you can check out the link below to see the full um, report on that. And some other stuff happened in the LEGO world as well, but before we jump into all that, let's get into this week's Amazon deals. As every week, all the links to the Amazon deals can be found below, if you buy through them it helps out the channel. This week's highlights include the BB-8 set from The Last Jedi Wave for 20% off, and now you can also get the Dimensions packs if you're looking for those minifigs for as low as $3, like this Bart Simpson for example. Also, you can get the Scuttler for 25% off, a LEGO Batman movie set that's still one of my favorites. The biggest announcement of this week was the reveal of the Downtown Diner, the next creator set, that's number 10260. Jack did a separate video on this one, so if you want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link below. He pretty much covers everything about the set. My personal thought about this, the set looks excellent, great change of era to the 50s. I love the convertible, I love the rockstar guy that looks like Marty McFly. And I love this style of streamline moderne that was used in the 50s. Also, I think that this set uh, brings a comeback of the teal color to LEGO. The color you see on this uh, curve in the front of the diner. I think it was out for about 10 years and it's making a comeback in this set, so that's pretty awesome. I love how unique LEGO is getting about those sets. We had Assembly Square in a different era, now the diner. I think it works great with the city and we just can't wait to get it down, built and place it in our city room. A quick recap, the set will be available on January 1st, 2018 and it will cost $169.99. As we speak about new sets, the LEGO Ninjago Movie Wave 2 sets are out, so you can get them now in LEGO stores if you wish. Some of them were available before in Toys R Us, but now everyone should be able to get them easily. Those include four sets, the Piranha Attack, Garmadon's Volcano Layer, Quake Mech and the Garmadon 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 set with the Shark Mech. Those are really nice. I guess you can expect streams and reviews about those sets from us very soon or they may have already happened. And just a heads up, with those sets you can get the Master Wookie chain, that's part of the gift with purchase promotion right now live in LEGO stores. One big bomb dropped this week was the Infinity War trailer, the upcoming Marvel movie, the Avengers installment. And the trailer looks amazing, gets me really hyped for this movie, I can't wait to have the whole gang, remember 10 years of Marvel movies, 18, I think 18 movies total, uh, created towards this point, starting from Iron Man and now we're landing to the Infinity War. I can't wait, a lot of characters, a lot of cool returns. And uh, yep, I think we have uh, six sets that are rumored to come over, but we can wait for an official announcement for all six rumored sets, hopefully sometime very soon, and once that happens we can report on that. Also, if you guys have seen the last week's video with Jack reporting on all new sets for 2018, the part of that was the 60th anniversary sets from LEGO. They were a mixed bag, kind of like, you know, a missed opportunity for me personally, but also there was a new thing unveiled in that matter, there's gonna be a 60 year anniversary gift with purchase set from LEGO stores. This promotion should be happening in January with a purchase for $125 or more, and this set seems to be including four small builds commemorating the four classic themes, LEGO themes, if I may, of LEGO bricks. And personally, for me, that's more appealing than the 60th anniversary line of sets. It just looks more fun, seems like a much more of a vignette, cool little build to have on the desk. That reminds me of the last year's holiday employee gift for LEGO employees, that was the 50 years on track set, a set of small mini builds commemorating all the trains that LEGO has done over the course of 50 years. And I think even the box art, the box design for this small gift with purchase set is a kind of resembling the 50 years on track employee gift. All in all, I think it might be one of the best gifts with purchase that LEGO has offered so far. And as we are pretty much in the holiday season, LEGO is reintroducing the sets or gifts with purchase from previous years that you can now still obtain. That includes the Gingerbread Man, a small minifigure that was given last year. That offer is geared towards LEGO VIP members, so you should be receiving a flyer in your email that you should bring to the LEGO store to receive your Gingerbread Man. That's a great opportunity for anyone who hasn't got one yet last year. Same thing goes for the seasonal 2016 Snow Globe that was given last year with a $99 purchase. Now you can actually purchase this for $9. 99 from the shop at home. Also, some more rumors just came in. We should expect the Powerpuff Girls actual sets next year. 
So far we had only dimensions packs with Buttercup, Blossom and Bubbles that were coming in the last dimensions wave before they got cancelled pretty much. This rumor comes from Stellar Bricks at Brickset Forums, which was further reported by Justogod in his video. The names for those sets are Bubbles Playground Showdown 41287 and also Mojo Jojo Strikes 41288. I am especially excited for the latter one, having the Mojo Jojo minifig, which I was waiting for in those dimension packs, but it never showed up. So definitely this cartoonish uh, evil monkey <laughs> should appear in LEGO sets, and that should be one of the best minifigures, like, ever. I'm probably biased here because I was a huge fan of the show as a kid, I watched uh, a lot of those episodes, and definitely Mojo Jojo was the best villain ever created. Totally biased opinion. Awesome thing to mention also is that the LEGO Rebrick contest about the Frighter Wars, the Millennium Falcon contest, as many call it, was concluded. Included. There were a lot of awesome winners and runner-ups chosen. The winner design comes from Nuno0937 and it's a falcon depicting the rebel's emblem, which is really awesome idea and well, very well executed. So he very well deserves this uh, massive prize of the 75192 Millennium Falcon signed by the designer and a number of other smaller rewards including the collectible Escape the Space Slug set. So congratulations on that. And the great thing is that many of the runner-ups were falcons that we mentioned somehow on our top 10 mocks at some point. Those include a ship called Denadir by Uger, which was a bonus winner. Also the Sidewinder by Railblade was mentioned by me and is also a bonus winner. And the runner-up is nothing else but the fabulous Fabulant Freighter. That's a triple F right there, but that was a ship that was made by Terrovision and it was mentioned really high up in one of my latest top 10 mocks videos. So I'm really happy for that, that this guy ended up so high. It really deserves it. One more small thing to mention is that we're gonna get a brick head for Darth Vader that was uh, revealed in the poster that was included with the Kylo Ren and uh, Rey uh, brick heads pack from Target. I showed that poster on the review of this set and yep, that's gonna come. So that's worthy uh, news bit. By the way, those sets, uh, Kylo Ren and Rey and also the Sand Speeder are no longer Target exclusive. You can get them in Lego stores as of this recording. And now let's jump into the LEGO Ideas section and if you don't know what it is for some reason, there is a platform when you submit your own LEGO creations, people vote for them, if you gain 10,000 supporters, LEGO is putting them into the review stage and you may end up with a set being on the shelves. This week I would say congratulations to Brick Bros UK for their Tron Legacy light cycle, their mock, their design, ideas design will be coming an official product sometime next year. That was officially announced just recently. And personally, I think it's a great idea, very well executed, great little model with a stand, and that would just look excellent on any sci-fi fan's desk, I think. I'm really happy for fellow LEGO YouTubers to have a successful set on the LEGO Ideas platform. And I guess for us, as usual, it's gonna be a day one purchase. The interesting part about this review stage is that this is the only project that was selected for the next idea set, which is unusual because LEGO usually chooses two projects, but I guess we're gonna have to wait for the next review stage. They also mentioned that the next review results will be coming in early 2018. And this stage will review projects that gained 10,000 supporters between May and September 2017. And to include the two NASA sets that gained support after the very successful Saturn V launch. And also the NF-15B research aircraft, which personally I would love to see as an idea set the most from this wave. The set I would also like to highlight this week for being a great ideas project is called The Medieval Village by Carlierti. And the reason I chose it is that I would love to see LEGO to come back to some sort of a medieval castle dim in some sort of way and maybe such a small appealing irregular diorama of a castle dim would be a good way to go. I just looked the design of this, how compact it is and how much things are packed into that and looks great of course. And I think there was no such thing yet in an ideas platform, maybe except for the fishing store but that was like a regular modular building whereas this is more like a display shelf piece. I just think it looks great and I would love you guys to support it if you can. I will leave a link in the description below if you guys want to go to the ideas website and perhaps support this project. I think it's very well worth it. Carlierti also has a project called the Dungeon Tower, which is a similar design or style that's a bit older but also worth checking out. All right, and that's a wrap for this week's news update. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can hit, smash, click that like button if you enjoyed this video. You can always subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Tomorrow is Sunday, which means the top 10 mocks episode, and that includes the fan mock. So if you guys still want to send your fan mock, you can do so until um, today night, actually. Jack will be editing that. So tune in for that tomorrow, but for now, we're done with this episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike, and I'll see you again on Brick Vault. Thank you.